an eargasm of learning, and a no-fuss show. Welcome to the Creative Talk Podcast, where you can learn straightforward topics about branding, digital entrepreneurship, online business, and many more with your charming host, John Santos, along with inspiring entrepreneurs, creators, and thought leaders worldwide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Creative Talk Podcast with me, John Santos. And today, we have a very very special guest very gorgeous special guest oh, thank you <laughs> why thank you very much <laughs> love the love the voice so sexy <laughs> <laughs> thanks singer and songwriter a host a superstar <laughs> alopecia <laughs> awareness advocate and she's just amazing i love her message and you know as a brand and as a person very talented Let's all welcome Abby Assisto. Welcome to the show, my friend. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Excited to have our chat. <laughs> Abby, I, I've said it off cam and I'm going to say it again. Thank you for joining us. I know you're a very busy person, but you've spent time to be with us here in the show. Abby, such a blessing. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me as well. It's always a pleasure to be able to share my story and some of the insights that I've learned through uh, throughout the years and maybe possibly help you guys as well. Yes, for sure, for sure. Abby, you, you said, yep. you know, um, story. I'm excited. Our listeners and viewers are excited also to learn, um, you know, not not really in, in specifics, but mm -hmm. who or what influenced you to be in this position of greatness that you are in? Because you're touching people's <laughs> lives. No, really. <laughs> you are in a position Thank to you. connect with people, touch people's lives, make an impact, and, you know, hopefully really help them and change their journey. And and you're doing good. I, I've seen your the content that you throw out, the events that you are doing. And I believe in the message, like what I've said earlier, you are really making a difference in this world. Um, but Thank before you. we dive into those details, share us your story, my friend. Okay. Do we have three hours for me? To no, I'm what? kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. This is my little summary of who I am. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. You mentioned it a while ago. And I guess one of the things that played a major role in my story is me having this condition called alopecia. Um, even with the hair loss disease, to those watching, by the way, who don't know what alopecia is, it's a hair loss condition. And it's, sometimes it affects people by having bald patches, small ones, extreme cases, total hair loss, sometimes no eyelashes, no eyebrows. So in my case, I had alopecia at four. And there really wasn't any cure for it. So I learned to cope and fit in <laughs> by wearing hats and wigs and all these things to try to hide who I really am. Because for me, um, being bald was something to be ashamed of. It was ugly. It was a limitation. And it made me less of a woman. I, at least that was what I I learned to believe. So especially, even uh, uh, Abby, yes. sorry, especially in your, you know, in your line of work, you you are in yes. show business, right? You're that's that's the reason why I said superstar because guys, for all the listeners and viewers out there, Abby's, you know, aside from a singer, she is in the industry, show business, and you know, when you're in the limelight, aesthetics matter, right? Yes, that's that's exactly like one of the things that really bothered me, like other than being a girl and, you know, wanting guys or people to think that I'm pretty <laughs> and that I'm attractive. You, you know? are, though. You are, though. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, being a singer and being in front of people, being in the limelight and, uh, you know, putting yourself in the position where people could scrutinize and criticize or like be nitty gritty when it comes to how you look, how you sound, what your vibe is. Like that was always a fear of mine. I like I would always feel like I couldn't break out or like be successful in the industry because I didn't fit the mold. Like there is a standard when it comes to the type of artist that you are. And because my like even with my voice, I'm not like a biretera here in the Philippines. People with really big, powerful voices could sing really high notes, and my voice was Uso ba yan, not like Abby? that. I mean, now yeah. that you mention it, is, is it the like all of you guys who sing? Let's say mm -hmm. you're in the category of singers. Kailangan ba na you can perform that way? 
Is it a meta? <laughs> well, kailangan siya if you're not aware of who you are. Ooh. If if you don't know who you are as a person and as an artist, you're gonna try to be like everybody else, and you'll feel you'll feel like those types of singers are what gets the hit songs or gets the crowds to listen and makes you popular. And that was one thing that I learned through the through my whole journey because I started that way. I thought I could since I can't sing like them or I can't look like them, you know, R and B singers. Because thus I started R and B and hip hop. Eh. So they were R and B, and then with the big, long yeah. wavy hair and being <laughs> all sexy. And I was like, wow, I don't look anything like them. I'm wearing wigs. And in fact, one of the things that led me to really embracing who I was was back in 2012, I shot a music video. I was already in the industry at this time. I was starting, still an independent artist, but you know, right. doing my own songs, creating music videos. I shot a music video and then my director at that time, they meant well, God bless their souls. <laughs> and uh, my manager, they were like, um, I'm so sorry, this video isn't going to work because your mm. hair's not moving. What? It's obvious that you're wearing a wig. And unlike now... You know, wearing wigs was a, is a fashion statement now. Right, like right. people wear wigs left and right, and people don't mind. They could take mm. it off and then wear a different style the next day. In during my, hindi naman ganon katagal during my days. Oh, in ten years ago, people were still not as vocal or expressive right, when it comes right. to wigs. So they were like, "It's not working. It's obvious that you're wearing a wig. We have to scrap the project." <laughs> And it felt so bad because I was trying to do my thing mm. and trying to belong and trying to fit in. Mm. Like I was this bald girl na yun na nga eh. Nagwiwig na nga ako so people wouldn't know that I'm sick. Right, right. So people wouldn't bring uh, that so that my sickness wouldn't catch their attention. Instead, they would focus on who I am as an artist. Right. Ang, hirap it, nyan. Ang hirap niyan. Ang hirap niyan, Abby. Yeah. I mean, even if you have something... Wait, you please? That, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, diba? Kasi even if, you, even if you have like something so powerful, your content mm. may be a song or a film or, or a video, even if it's so powerful, hindi talaga makaka-penetrate doon because yeah. they would always look on you first, and mm-hmm. and I don't know, you're you're the superstar, you're in the industry. Bakit ganun? Why is it that way? You know, we were talking about self awareness a while ago, and one of my major lessons was before anybody could accept you for who you are, it really starts with yourself. And during that time, I was still lost. Like I wasn't comfortable. With me having alopecia, I wasn't comfortable telling people about it. So I feel like even when they would see the insecurity that I had, it was because I was projecting it as well. Ooh. Now, even if I was singing or I was doing my thing, I was thinking, Sana hindi nila mapansin. Right. Sana they wouldn't right. focus on my hair. Now, the more I do that, the more I bring the negative yeah. attention yeah. It, to, to that particular thing. So I was really excited about my music. Wala, walang nangyari kasi na, ang, ang nakita ng mga tao was what was wrong and what what I and what and not what I had to offer. So that night, that night was a, a real turning point for me because when I got home, they actually suggested. So when we were having our meeting, they said the music video doesn't work. Sabi nila, why not go bald? You know, on a branding Whoa. standpoint, wow. that would be cool. Like here mm. in the Philippines, no bald singers yet. Oh, yun sa sabiin ko pasana, <laughs> de ba? Yeah, Ka- Kakay Velasquez. I'm the well, sister of Regine. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, Kakay. But iba iba rin yung generation niya, eh. and and she's yeah. not at that like peak. Sikat siya, pero di ba? Iba yung game time nila noon. I, I mm-hmm. mean, and she was also you. in her own. Well, she was also in her own journey because she was yes. sisters with Regine Velasquez. Yeah. That's it, so it that's a whole din yun, di ba? yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a whole different path altogether. Mm. So for me, you know, when I got home, they were like, "Check mo lang, search online, baka naman kaya mo." So I did, and and I saw Demi Moore and uh, Sinead O'Connor mm. and all these mm. models who rock the bald look, and I was like, "Baka naman kaya ko. Maybe I should give it a shot." But then but again, then, their culture is different from ours, right? 
It is, but you know, since I was coming from taking on what they said, mm, na mm. Baka, baka I could do that. Maybe, maybe I could actually rock the bald head. They said my my face is pretty, na man, my head was shaped pretty, so maybe I could be bald na lang. But then when I was searching online, I ca- I came across alopecia awareness and women with alopecia in different parts of the world. Na never kung inisip kasi. For me, nga, I was ashamed nga of this, eh. so I don't, I didn't, I wasn't researching about how to belong or how to accept myself. It was really more about la 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 la. How do I live my life without people knowing that I had this disease? So when I was searching online, I, I found out that in other countries, particularly the U.S., there was a foundation, National Alopecia Ariata Foundation. There were summer camps, awareness campaigns. Every September is Alopecia Awareness Month. People in different countries giving interviews saying, ah, oh, I'm a beauty queen. I joined this beauty pageant even without my wig. And it doesn't matter if I'm bald because I'm beautiful just the way I am. They were all very passionate about owning who they were. And when I came across those videos, I had an epiphany, literally crying, bawling my eyes out. Now, how could they reach that point of being so comfortable about who they are? How could they accept themselves and show it to the world? Well, when I spent 20 plus years of my life trying to stay clear of people knowing what was underneath the wigs. So, medyo, ano siya, oo, sobrang... Basag, kung bagay. <laughs> Parang basag ako. <laughs> Nakakahiya naman sa kanila. Nakakahiya naman sa alopecia community na ako, kinakahiya ako yung condition oh. ko. Diba? And all these people are trying to bring awareness and telling women like me that it's okay to be mm. bald. And you could mm. actually, and you could actually, you know, embrace who you are and share that to people and help others in the process. What happened so that after was, that awakening? Yeah, that's the word awakening because I like a huge part of me really awakened and it made me realize you know it was my epiphany na <gasps> my sound effects thing ah oh, maybe that's the reason why I'm an artist maybe mm. that's the reason why makapal yung mukha ko I don't have <laughs> any problems talking you know being I don't know hi guys <laughs> right and right being in front of people maybe that's the reason maybe there is this is more than me mm. this is more than who i was and mm. realize ko yun na, at that time no more hiding no more being ashamed maybe my platform was a means to to shed light on what alopecia is here in the philippines and at the same time help those with a condition Ooh. and so that was that was july 2012 2012 mm. was a monumental year for me july 2012 September was Alopecia Awareness Month and I made a decision. Sabi ko, tama na. In September, I will come out and tell people that I have alopecia. And I would write a song and I would sing it bald. Like, it was a coming out thing. So, and that's precisely what I did. Ang unang-una kong ginawa for Alopecia Awareness Month, it took baby steps for me. It was still very difficult. Because for me, I equated being bald to being naked Wow. And I didn't want to be naked in front of people. It was right. such a vulnerable mm. position to be in. And I'll backtrack a little. When I was a kid, you know, wearing my hats or my wigs, yeah. I got bullied. Right. I got yeah. bullied because Tatanuin of my alopecia. Ko pa yan eh. Pero now that you mentioned, so nasa niyan, um, na trauma ka talaga. Mm-hmm. Na trauma ko. I was just really blessed to have a good support system mm. with my family, and then right. I got involved in church. So that was one of the things that reminded me that more than the external, it was really mm. the kind of person that I am and that's how God sees me. Right. So, Ooh, nakatulong one. yun. Nakatulong yun, pero syempre, ang nakikita pa rin ng mga tao, oh my gosh, kawawa naman yung bata. <laughs> ano sakit mo? I get asked if I had cancer. You know, I people oh, yeah. in school. Yeah, because oh, yeah, they would think I'm going through chemotherapy. Ito, quick story lang ah. Mm. When I was in, well, Sometimes in school, mga twice, I remember, I had some of my classmates take my hat off. Tapos nakangit tawa na lang ako, pero I was crying. I was like, <laughs> but I was really crying. And then one of my professors, he, he was, you know how we have retreats in school? 
I, it was my professor brought it up that let's pray for Abby. And so one of my classmates got the candle and gave it to me. And she was like, let's all pray for Abby's cancer. I was like, what? Grab I don't have cancer. <laughs> which was important because I didn't tell them. They didn't know. They were just assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which brings me to the fact that no one, that this is, well, taboo in a sense. Because no one is vocal or proud to say na hey yeah i have a balding spot in my head i have exactly. alopecia yeah pa eh. so mm. when i when i uh, came out in well september it was difficult for me kasi like even with my parents i had to talk to them sabi ko ma i i think i'm ready to to uh, let people know that i have alopecia and she was so against it like we had a fight because she knew what i went through and right, as parents right. As parents, like one of her main goals was to protect me and to mm. try to take the pain away from me dealing with this hair loss condition. And now mm. you're going to say to the whole world, you're bald and you have scary. alopecia. It was so scary. But at the same time, there was something stronger within me telling me that there was this was something that I had to do. And so even if I was afraid, I was like, it's okay. I'm not going to be like super courageous overnight. One of the first things that I did, you know, in Facebook, we do status posts. So the first thing that I did was say, September is Alopecia Awareness Month. So yun lang, baby step. And then the next day, kunyari, blue is the color of Alopecia Awareness. I didn't, still didn't tell people I had Alopecia. And then one of my major posts was I wrote a blog and, and I said, Hi, I'm Abby. I have alopecia and I'm coming out bald <laughs> on wow. July, on September straight, 25th. Straight talaga, no? <laughs> yeah, straight. So, syempre, clickbait in a sense kasi yung mga tao sa paligid ko, what? Yeah. It's bald. What? Is she what? So, basa naman hey, sila. Hindi ka ba natakot, Abby? Found out. Hindi ka ba natakot na... Sorry, I'm daldal, no? Jan. No, 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 no. no. I, this is your show. This is your show. Um, Hindi ka ba, okay. hindi ka ba natakot? Kasi ako, intrigue ako talaga. Uh-huh. And, were you not scared that it would you might lose everything? It would, you know, destroy your brand. You may lose the contracts or projects. Nobody will get you na after you, you know, you enter this new phase in your life. Yes, you'll well, be Well, I wasn't like in that point naman that I was so big. I wasn't big <laughs> or anything no, to the again, point na again, it, people would you be... have career na. Meron yeah. ka ng name. You know, and you're humble, I know. But, you know, coming from a fan, <laughs> mm-hmm. may, oh, may pangalan ka na. So, mm-hmm. be trade off yan, di ba? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna be free, but I might lose this. Or, should I stay and pretend because I need my career. Nangyari mm-hmm. ba yung choice of ano na yan, uh, mindset sa'yo? It, it, it was scary because I had to put myself out there. But in terms of changing who I was, it actually wasn't changing who I, wa- I am. It was more of revealing who I truly Ooh, was. Lakas. And so, mm. and so the, the, the calling was bigger than whatever fear that I had of how things might end up. Like, Literal na I was counting the days till till the day I would come out bald and uh, yung my mind was hanggang dun lang hanggang sa me being on stage singing my song without my wig like I was like Lord whatever happens after this I surrender I let it go and my only hope was that by me coming out mm. I would help people with the condition because I grew up not having anybody right I did. I didn't have an ate or mm. a role model to look up to to, to tell me group, that right? a support group or even someone to say, yeah, you may have alopecia, but you're good. Yeah. You'll get through it. <laughs> Wala. No one could relate to what I was going mm. through. Um, so, <laughs> diba, medyo cliche, pero it's true. Like, yeah. be the person that you needed when you were growing up. And Ooh. I didn't have that done. And I wanted to be that for the next generation or whoever right. it is. Whoever it is who might still be in the dark and feel alone because they couldn't relate to anybody. So, now and say you like doing this. You're like, no, because I, I'm yeah. feeling the energy. <laughs> I'm set up kasi, and, and I believe in you. And I don't know. Um, na alala mo pa ba where that event, uh, where you yeah. first time na nag reveal mm-hmm. ka? Did, did, we called it. Yun? We called it stripped. It was at Jill's Fort Strip. Oh, Fort ah. Strip. 
Okay. Sa fort. Mm-hmm. And then the strip, it, we entitled it strip because it was the stripping of the bandana and the wigs. Right, right. But also the stripping of all the fears, doubts, anxiety that I had when it comes mm. to my hair. Because I was so, you know, I was so limited with my wigs. People think, akala ko people wouldn't notice that I didn't have hair because I had my wigs. But actually, every time I wore my wig, it was a crutch. Wow. It was a crutch and it was me. Like, even if people would see me, my main concern would always be, are they looking at me because my right. hair is stabbing it? Uh, okay. Or if I go yeah. out, if I go out, is the wind too strong? Will my hair f- ano, fly away? Ano? Yeah. Like, I still wasn't free. I, mm. I was mm. I was um, imprisoned by my own insecurity when it comes to this disease. And so yeah. when I came out, what I did was I wrote beautiful mm. um the main lines of the song was beautiful you're beautiful just as you are beautiful you're beautiful show the world who you are shine your light you're a star wow. and then when i sang that Abby, it was arranged by jay Dur- Durias. Can, can you can you sing that line please? oh <laughs> please okay okay piano please no I'm kidding okay. beautiful you are beautiful you're beautiful just as you are beautiful you are beautiful show the world who you are shine your light you're a star there grabe ala asta sarap ang sarap pakinggan i mean the, the voice you. is amazing. The message is powerful. Grabe. Grabe. <laughs> Thank you so much. But you know, when before I sang that, mm. I, I remember I was with my best friend behind eh, behind the scenes backstage. Mm. I was crying because and she was still trying to tell me, if you're not ready, if you're not sure, we could, you know, you could back. I was like, this again, I'll do this. So I came on stage. I was crying, singing the song. Then I removed my Kasi I removed the wig na, nakabandana na lang ako noon. I removed the bandana and then I sang. Tapos, it was one of the most liberating experiences that I've had in my life. It was like people, actually not just people. I was going to say people were seeing me for who I really was. But more than that, I was seeing myself for who I really was. And the kind of woman that I am, the kind of artist that I want to be, the kind of role model that I want to be for other people. And that, other than me coming out with my alopecia, it kind of brought so much direction in terms of who I want to be as a person and what I want to contri- what I want to contribute into the world. If I was going to sing, if I was going to write a song, if I was going to do a video, it always it was always to inspire other people, to encourage. I wanted to be positive because Wala, it was so it was so real for me. Grabe. That na yun yung calling ko, na yun yung purpose ko. Wow. And when I came out bald, I had so many DMs. Mm. Na saying, "Hi, I thought I was alone. I didn't know that there was someone out me, I out there like me who has alopecia." Hanggang sa andame, we formed a group. There was a support group and now there's Alopecia Philippines. All these people were just waiting for someone to take that step. To wow. be brave, be brave enough to say, "Yeah, we have alopecia. That doesn't define who we are. We could still do whatever it is that we want. This is us. We wow. accept us. We accept ourselves for who we are, and you have to accept us too." I love so, that. I love that. Alam mo Abby, grabe. You know, yun. it, it it's it sums up the episode, <laughs> divine. Di na, di na natin kailangan. Well, you explain how to persevere. You explain how you you know motivate yourself. In in your story, dun palang. <laughs> it's it's done mm-hmm. deal na. Grabe. Thank you. Na, na naging claro in a sense. Um yung mga yung kasi even when I when I tell my story, I get I still get energized or excited when I do kasi naaalala ko na oo nga. Yes. Grabe, yeah. grabe yung so journey. It's so powerful. Yeah, the journey is amazing. I'm having goosebumps. Grabe. And dami our listeners and viewers will you know, I'm sure they're going to be energized and, you know, it, it will be a fuel for them to push forward and start their journey. But now with a different perspective that would change their lives forever. Grabby Abby. 
Thank, Thank you, you so Jennifer. much. Thank you so could much. I add, could I add to that? Sure, sure, sure. The reason why I was like excited hearing it from myself, like tell the story again. <laughs> because even now, like years have passed since that, since I made that decision, I still have new sets of insecurities, new sets of problems, new sets of trials that I have now. Mm. And a story like that, you know, we we try to get what we can mm. and apply it to our own struggles and challenges. And at the 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 main lesson would always be the same. It's about never giving up, knowing that there's something bigger than you, and believing that you know if you set your mind to it, and if it's it's out, it's to help other people. It's it won't deter you from reaching your goals and for reaching your dreams. So now, like I have my own thing. You know, he came from the pandemic new set of problems or issues which is normal we all have that but are you bigger you're you're way bigger than that this is just one aspect of your life you take a step back and there's so much to be grateful for so much to be so wow. much to learn also i love that grabe grabe sobrang powerful naman noon from <laughs> beginning till the end grabe thank, thank you. you so much abby that's it That's it. <laughs> Guys. I'm ready for two more hours. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> But we're not done yet, Abby. Um, you, yeah. You've shared your story. You gave us your, you know, the values in it. The you, you really pushed us. You really gave us energy. Thank you for that. But we're not done yet. Now, okay. we're in the part that we will play a game. All right? Okay. I like all this. The creative fast talk. How we play the game is I'm going to be asking you questions and you are not allowed to spend much time thinking what the right answer would be. First word that comes into your mind, shoot. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> all right. Question number one, sun or snow? Sun. Okay. Second, structured or chaotic? Chaotic. Wow. <laughs> Trying to be more structured now, but you know, I'm an artist and right, right. I, I thrive off of the, <laughs> the spontaneity and the chaos sometimes. Passenger or driver? Passenger. Mm. What's your favorite color and why? Purple. Because? Um, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's rich. I, I, I love how intense it could be, but with, right. but with a positive wow. note. Movies Royalty or too. books? Movies or books? Both. But I'm trying to be more into books now. Okay. I'm really trying to catch up on reading. Since Sorry, it's said... just one word. I can't explain my answers. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no, okay. I say... <laughs> Since you answered books, name your top three books of all time. Or author. I... Oh, okay. I love The Alchemist. Mm. That was... That really, like, um, caused a spark in who I am when it comes to fulfilling my dreams mm. um robin sharma the monk who sold his ferrari yeah in terms of knowing what really matters in life um more than the material and the external it's about loving oneself and having purpose recently i read atomic habits Ooh, <laughs> which kind of nice which is Because I said I was very chaotic, right? So that was one of the things that was a catalyst for me to right. add a little more structure into my life and routine and habits. So mm. it's been really helping me. Nice. On a Powerhouse, yung three books na yan. Love that. Next is, what is your dream superpower and why? Mm. Oh, man. What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> dream superpower? What about making people happy or giving them joy? Wow. Like we all go we all go through our own moments of sadness or loneliness sometimes, but just like when you could be a person who could make the pain a little less or take it away, I think that's a superpower that we all could have right now. Even Love if it's that. not magically given to us, we could do that every day. Love that. Last question. If you have the power to bring back someone from the dead, who would it be and why? Anybody. It doesn't need to be relatives, like anybody in the whole wide world. Well, could I go to relatives? Sure, sure. Because my dad passed away like five or six years ago. And... I feel like in that span of time, I have grown so much as a woman. And I was a little, 
you know, la 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 when he's, he was still alive. <laughs> and so I feel like I would be able to really make, do my share in making him feel loved and seeing more beauty in the world wow. with my current, with my current lens and perspective yes. of how things are. And I know he loves you so much and he is so proud of you, Abby. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Abby. Thank you so much. Sharing your wonderful stories, giving us powerful tips, knowledge bomb after knowledge bomb, having fun with us in our simple game. <laughs> uh, it's it's a blessing, Abby. It's such a blessing to have you here. I know you have a lot of events, projects, social media accounts you want to promote. Feel free. The floor is yours. Yes, please check out my music. They're on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. My music videos are there as well. I am trying to be more active now on TikTok. <laughs> well, I'm on IG, Facebook, but I'm really enjoying TikTok. And Kumu, I live stream. All accounts are at Abby Asistio. And then please support, well, I have a company with my friends and we're trying to support original Filipino music. Follow us at Advocally. We uh, feature different OPM artists on the show and get to chat with them as well. So check it out. Wow. Thank you, Jan. Please do connect with Abby. I'm sure she can help you in your journey towards success. Abby, thank you so much. Again, it is a blessing. I love you so much. I love your message. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you too. Thank you so much for giving us this platform. Hi, guys. Always remember, have a positive outlook in life. Smile and God bless. Bye. Thank you for being with us here on the Creative Talk Podcast. I'm your host, John Santos. Don't forget to listen and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. See you again, always.